Hello! I hope you are having a wonderful day already. Today is Saturday. I was working until right now. It's 4 p.m. Just got home and I had this smart, smart decision yesterday to go grocery shopping today instead of tomorrow. And on Sunday afternoons, I wasn't the only one having this idea. I kind of survived. I also had heels on today, so I already had it more comfortable during my grocery runs. So I only have two bags today. I don't know what happened. I got almost everything from my list. A little strange though but I think yeah I think I got everything let me just show you quickly what I got while I put everything away when it comes to vegetables I was a little more creative today I finally got salad again I want to put that in my wraps I also got wraps here these are bigger than the ones I had last week one serving so one tortilla has 70 grams so it also has more calories 210 I just hope I can fill it more Densely. I'll use this. I'll put some salad in there. Some pepper. Haven't had pepper for forever. I also got radish again. Turkey breast. And somewhere here is also cheese. All of that will be wrapped in cabbage. That's delicious. So I'll have one wrap wrapped in cabbage and a tortilla wrap and then another one only in cabbage. That's all I need for lunch for a week. Moving on, I got beef again. I'll eat that with eggs. So I cooked the beef in egg. That's delicious. And to that I'll have some asparagus, a whole bunch of asparagus. And as another meal, I will have some salmon and green beans. What else, what else do we have? Oh yes, of course, my beloved, beloved cereal. You know, I do listen to you guys. When you comment something on my YouTube videos, I do read that. And for example, Penny McDonald's commented that these are the best cereal. I'm gonna try that. One serving also only has 1.5 grams of fat. So my idea was to combine those two for um, post-workout because I want to have around 70 to 80 grams of cereal. So I'll have cocoa pebbles and honey bunches, what will end up being only around four grams of fat post-workout, so that's totally fine. I have never had those. No, I wanna try them right now. Wow, they smell amazing. They smell really, really good. I like them, but I don't know yet how much I'll like them. Because the pieces, they are very small, so I don't know if I'll like to snack on them dry. And they also taste a little plain in my opinion. I'm sure they will be awesome with protein powder on top and I'll definitely try them for a couple of days before I have a um, final opinion. But for example the donuts, right? When I tried them the first time I didn't like them that much. Now I'm loving them with oatmeal together. Same thing with honey smacks. When I had them like for the very first time I thought they were dry and like very plain but I really had to have myself under control right now that I don't get three kinds of cereal and get honey smacks as well. That's how much I like them in the end. Ooh. Yeah, well I think everyone knows how cocoa pebbles taste like. I think they're a little too chocolatey though. I guessed that already before I got them. That's why I wanted to combine them so I think that's that will be the best. So yeah, besides that I only got another shaker because Abe is using shake shakers as well so that we have enough and some milk. And that's it for today. Alright, good morning again. Last clip was on Saturday, today it is uh, Tuesday already. I want to conclude this video with a full day of eating based on the grocery haul I showed you. That's why it's time for breakfast right now. Ah, that smells so good. So I have here a protein. I'll call it protein lava cake. It's not a brownie. It's way better than that. I pimped up the recipe a little bit from before. I don't only use protein powder and baking powder, stuff like that anymore. But I got in here now also one egg, which gives the whole thing a little more fats and protein. Then only 10 grams of whey, 10 grams of um, vegan protein powder. I got mine from the Matcha Reserve. They have all kinds of protein powder. I chose hemp protein this time. It's amazing and that makes the protein brownie more like a lava cake. It is so good. I think you can use every vegan protein powder for that recipe to have it more like a lava cake. If you're choosing to get it at the matcha reserve, you can save 15% using Super Leia, the coat. The protein powder itself is not sweetened, that's why I also put a little bit of sweetener in there. Some salt for more flavor. Pack 5 grams of cocoa powder and 5 grams of baking powder. All of that in the microwave for about a minute. That's it. That's my pre-workout. Yeah. 
what I don't do every time when I go to the gym, but today it's just a pre-workout kind of day. So I'm gonna take some BPI, one more rep for Tex. I'm loving this, uh, this powder because it's extremely sweet. So a spoon is very, very small and it sweetens 500 milliliters very, very nicely. So now I'll head downstairs, stretch, warm up, and today is shoulders and triceps day. Okay, since intra workout nutrition also goes into my calories and my whole diet, I want to show you that quickly too. Halfway through my workout, I take in 10 grams of BCAAs. I count them as well. They, depending on the brand, usually have 30 to 40 calories. Sometimes it's 8 grams, sometimes 10 grams, but these are just the little details. I still count them. And then I also have 20 grams of carbs in form of gummy bears. In here, I have some Jolly Rancher. I'm working myself right now through all the different kinds of gummy bears you got here in the US. I haven't found my favorites yet. Jolly Ranchers are pretty good, but what I also have in here are my multivitamins and my hair, skin and nail gummy bears. And I don't know why, but I think multivitamin gummy bears taste so much better than normal gummy bears. Don't know why. So all in all, I try to have 20 grams of carbs with typical Leia. 10 grams of BCAA. I'll eat that up quickly, then I'll finish my workout and I'll see you upstairs. This week we will be having 80 grams of cereal, honey bunches of oats combined with cocoa pebbles. Very delicious. I take way more honey bunches than cocoa pebbles. Some chocolate from the cocoa pebbles just for the taste, but that's like a ratio of one to 10, I guess. Very delicious though. First time that I have those honey bunches. I had a different ratio yesterday. It was a little too chocolatey. So today more honey bunches. I also realized the macros are literally, they are the same. First, I thought that honey bunches have more fat, but it's just because a serving on the backside is more of honey bunches than of cocoa pebbles. That's why they also mention more fats, of course. But in the end, it's literally the same. So here we go, 80 grams of cereal, 30 grams of whey, and we are good for post-workout. Now I have have to get some things ready because I have work today in the afternoon. I want to show you what to take with me. But before that, I'll still have lunch at home. All right, now at almost 2.30, I'm gonna have lunch. I'm so excited. I love all my meals, but I especially love this one because I am addicted to wraps. So in here I have, let me show you quickly, this one is just some cabbage. In there is spinach, a slice of cheese, some turkey breast, butter, ketchup and radish. I think that's all. The same thing is also in here. I just wrapped all of this in the tortilla I showed you on Saturday. And the tortilla is amazing. Very, very delicious. To that, I'll also have one of those matcha collagen packages. I already dissolved it in some water here. I would have not guessed that but I'm always looking forward to having that with my lunch. It doesn't taste bad at all. It tastes a little bit sweet, but the reason why I like it so much, it kind of uh, calms my stomach a little bit. I mean, it does taste like super green. I don't want to lie, but I, but I already had way worse uh, green powder. Yeah, this is also by the matcha reserve. So again, 15% off with super Leia. But I'm gonna enjoy that now. And then I'll show you what I prep for work. Since I'm trying to eat every like two to three hours. My next meal is going to be around 4.30. Well, it's more a snack. So in here I have 20 grams, I think it was. Yeah, 20 grams of whey, just a water and some ice cubes to keep it nice and cool. I also put a little bit of salt in there. You need to try that with uh, your protein powder. It makes it so much more flavorful. And then this week I have a very random craving. So instead of a chocolate bar or anything like that, I'll have 20 grams of cookie butter just by itself. It's very delicious. That's my little snack around 4.30 with around 200 calories. And it's also very practical because like an hour, an hour and a half into work, I'm not able to take a break yet to properly eat. So I can just drink this while working. And this is easy to just <laughs> sneak in. Around six to seven o'clock is when I will have my next meal. Also again, lower in calories and higher in volume. Two ounces of beef cooked in one egg with 160 grams of beans below there. Then everything topped with some sugar-free ketchup. And next to that, as a little dessert, I'll have the rest of my vitamin gummies, some fiber gummies and also probiotic gummies. I don't wanna have fiber or probiotic while I work out. That's why I'll have them as a little dessert with my fifth meal. 
And then my last meal, which I regard as eating for my next workout or the next day already, will be around 9 o'clock, 9 to 10. Starting off here with 30 grams of pasta and 110 grams of asparagus topped with 50 grams of salmon. I cooked it and then I mixed it with cream cheese. So delicious. And then after I warmed it up at work, I'll top it with 12 grams of truffle oil. This is the most delicious oil on pasta. It's so, so good. Please, please try it if you get a chance and let me know what you think. Then I'll have some oats, 40 grams. I didn't put any whey in here, but cocoa powder, very delicious again, and also some salt and sweetener, 40 grams of oats. I don't know why, but if I eat oats at night, it just helps me poop the next morning, so that's why this. And oats are the best if they are topped with 15 grams of donuts. They sweeten it again a little bit and give it a nice crunch. And then, as another dessert, I'll snack dry on 15 grams of honey bunches of oats. That's how I will conclude um, my full day of eating for the next week. So this all will bring me to 2300 calories for the day. I lowered my protein to 150 grams now. I'm trying this a little bit just to get more carbs in. One day I want to hit uh, 300 grams of carbs every day. Right now I'm around 64 to 65 grams of fat, 150 grams of protein and around 260 grams of carbs. So what I could do is still eating 2300 calories take away some fats and add in carbs to get 300 but i really don't want to uh, take away any fats fats are so important so i'll see maybe one day i'll be at 300 there's one thing i still eat when i get home because this all will be for work but while i get ready for work i love having some more bcaa i like the taste i enjoy it um some more protein doesn't hurt before bed i do count that too i started counting bcaa's because otherwise I would overdo it. I had days where I drank like four servings of BCAA because they're just so delicious, but this ends up. So I just started counting it and now I have it under control again. So much to that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching again. I hope you enjoyed it. I really do enjoy my foods right now. I am going to send out those meal plans. For that, I have an email list. So if, if you're interested in those meal plans as well, send me an email and I'll include you in that email list. Besides that, I have one more coaching spot free right now. I don't know if it's gonna stay free until this video goes up, but I just wanna let you know. So thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.